We are back and full of soup mm -hmm. and ready for crossing the Sea of Stars. Full of soup. Okay, so we defeated the Dweller. Mm -hmm. And now, what the heck is next? Um, you came here to get the rainbow. Oh, I think we're going back to the library. You're you're right. Which so. was I got to go through here. I I guess yeah. Do we have I can't. To go I this way? I don't remember where the the portal is. Is my problem. Yeah, I thought the portal closed behind us. No, so. he he said you could use it to get back. At least I think so. At Sudlo. Unless we're supposed to be able to use like a fast travel. Only to that, but yeah. But hopefully, we're able to just like go up the elevator now. Yeah, we should be able to. Oh no! Wait, there's this whole crazy thing. Wait. Yeah. I'm confused. How the? Where did we come out of the portal? Like when we left? I did. Wasn't it Lake? Dick wasn't it at the lake? Or no. I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> Let me look this up. Because, like, it feels like this is wrong. Like, it's, it feels too hard for us to get back. Okay, so we... did Torment Peak last. Mm -hmm. Um... Break the hands. Um, just sitting, staring at her, her toy. Can you smell? Is that your the toy? mossy cache. Return to the archives. How the heck do I return to the archives? Mm. Return to the archives. There's a, there's a whole Reddit thread on this. The shortcut portal is in the surface level of Lake Do Docaria, top right. Okay, that's what I thought. But we're not at Lake Docaria, we're yeah, underneath it, right? Yeah, but if you go up, if you go back to the village and go up, you're at Lake Docaria. Yeah, that's what I thought. I Like, this is what I was saying felt wrong. Like, we're at Lake Docaria, but we're going too far down. And yell in timber. Like, you better move and stuff. <laughs> can you move City of Heavenly Fire so Luna can have a more comfy seat? She likes laying on books. She looks squished. There you go, Luna. There you go. You can't let a thick girl like her be squished like that. Sometimes it's nice to be squished. <laughs> Alright, back up we go. <clears throat> So we go this way. There we go. Teleport to the archives. She got more comfy. Now she can push her laptop off. Yep. Rashawn, we have your vial. What if Rashawn is the dweller of woe? Or the Flesh Mancer, I Could mean. Could be! It appears you do, but we should make sure it is not an invitation. Garl, would you kindly throw it at the wall? I... With all your strength... Won't break it? I hope so. Yeet! Alright! Well, okay. Whoa! Pile of time. Oh, how I've missed you. Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You have shown much bravery. You better hold up your end of the bargain I now. No more errands. I fully expect them to be like, my most treasured possession. You have been useful. I will not kill I you when kill the time you. comes. Oh. <laughs> oh, make no mistake. I am coming with you. New party member? Huh? But my code is strict, so there are rules. First, I may assist in battle, but it is not my place to win for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Wait, you're really going to? 
Next, no other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. You are to refer to me exclusively as Rashan, and most importantly, never as the Immortal Alchemist. You got it. Might as well be extra careful around Peaks, though. Lastly, and most importantly, I am under no circumstances allowed to fight a Dweller. In confronta if a confrontation occurs with the Dweller of Strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Understood. Shall we go then? Uh, Rashan? Yes? You can't come like that, your robes are all tattered. Oh? If you don't want people to know you're immortal, maybe clothes that haven't been decaying for millennia aren't the safest bet. <laughs> Fair enough. Better? Totally! Then lead the way. Mesa Island is to the north or east. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm Jar Jar Binks. The one with the giant stone head. Alright! Ah, uh, fifth party member, who knew? He looks cool. Hey, we're back outside. They didn't make me walk all the way. Right. Hello, pirates. We have brought a god with us. It is nice to meet you, Teeks. I am also a traveler of sorts. Rashan, huh? So you make potions? You could say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I see. Don't worry, I won't tell. Would you mind, though? If you promise not to tell my true identity, you can have my story. Yes. I promise. Just stand still one second here and... Just suck it out of your soul with their magic book. Thanks! Hey, we are just wondering what to do with the glass dome. Use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. Alright, back to the true main character. Potion guys, welcome to stay, of course. Mesa Island, eh? That's where we're headed. Aye, that should be roughly to the north of here. Big stone head. Can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. Okay. Will do. Skirt. Okay, so I guess we're going... Yep. Alright. I wonder if there's any puzzles we can solve yet. Like, what is this place? Uh, there's a bridge there that, like, we couldn't put together. Oh, I was wondering, like, now that we can move the sun without oh. being on the things, you know? Maybe. I don't remember there being any sun puzzles here, but... Yeah, I, I couldn't remember if there was, like, a white thing or something. Nope. Might as well check. Because we're going to have to do go get the rest of the stuff anyways to get the true ending, so... Yeah. We might as well get as much of it as we can. We're almost halfway to the conches, though, so... I'm sure they'll do some... have some ability or... I don't know. Something that will, like, tell us to go find stuff. Hmm. Okay. Jar Jar Binks Island? Where's the dock, though? There we go. Jar Jar Bing Island. <laughs> Misa hike. Fishing? No fishing. Alright, here we are. What's up here? Give me your secrets. Nothing, just a little camping ledge. Olmec? Now, 150 years should do it. Yeet! <laughs> Wake up, head. Huh! Strangely human looking eyes. 
Good morning, Hook Car. Master, uh, have you come to check on my work? You can see I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter. If Foro left a long time ago and his acolytes have lost most of their powers, it will not happen again anytime soon. I understand. How could I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Hmm. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, friend. Can you help us in any way? My main duty is to hold Mesa Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, my friend. Well, then could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Oh, surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. It is no place to send a friend. That's still where we are headed. <laughs> I will not send friends into danger. I refuse. Get out of my way, lo loser. <laughs> there we go again. You brainwashing him? Maybe. Or is he having him go back in time so that he only remembers certain events? Good morning, Kukar. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. How can I help? These people are adventurers on a very important mission and require your help. I understand. Try again. <laughs> Just the same thing? Please. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, adventurer. Have you met my brothers, Zatol and Yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail into my mouth and choose the destination. That's... Okay, that does sound useful. But for now, what we need is for you to remove the barrier on the island. I see. Oh, that's you. I see. One moment, please. I've got Luna fur in my face! Yep. Cutscene? Or... No, it's just... Just new map, an evil castle. And the new fishing spot, most importantly. Oh, we gotta go to the village! There's a fishing thing! Mmm. We got the plans. There it is! Thanks, Kukar. Naturally, safe travels, adventurers. Up we go, then. Lead the way. Alright, well, actually, we're gonna go to the village first. <clears throat> you just opened the island, it's dangerous. We gotta deal with this. They can wait. <laughs> we're not even that far from our island, right? We have to make sure our. <coughs> whatever the heck it is. Are we. It's that one. Settler's Island. Skrrr! I wanna see. I wanna know what happens, like, cause we, like, unlocked the shop, but we couldn't buy anything. We didn't- we don't have a shop owner. Um, uh, what was- it? we unlocked the inn, was it? Uh... I don't know. Hello. Have you found any new building blends? There you go. Interesting, let's get to work. Or we have a shop owner, we don't have an innkeep. You can now fish at the new house in Murph. Random selections from the species you've already caught. That worked out nicely, had you already found a professional to run the place. So that was, that's the shop right there. Yeah. The item shop. We want eggs. It's all like a lot of our money, but... Yeah. <coughs> Sell this stuff. Does he have any uh, 
If you go all the way down, does he have recipes? Yeah. Yeah. And the music sheet. Should I just buy both? Yeah, might as well. Maple syrup. I'll buy two of these. You might need it for the crustade, whatever yeah. that is. Alright, so... Oh, like, I don't know how to get to the... The cooking area. But, okay, now we've got that. This music is so peaceful. Mm-hmm. Let's cast off Hortense. That's, um... The, uh, style Smut Riders right in. The Hortense. <laughs> the Hortense. Yeah. Luna didn't think your joke was funny. She was like... Wait, look at her. She's thinking about leaving. That's how much she... Uh, she's getting comfy here. What are you talking about? She's so comfy, cozy. Are you comfy, Luna? Oh, yeah. Are we going to try and order the seven box? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. So now we'll go up here. I do want to do that. And I wanted to see if we could, uh, like, pick it up. Yeah, yeah. At our, the one near us. He's watching you. Yep. I'm having fun going back and forth. Alright. Oh, look, I can Autumn Hills. make it daytime and nighttime. Twang! Twang! Oh, Luna had to go check out the pink thing. Why is that their favorite? I don't know. They, they, I, I, I was wondering if they had knocked my headphone thing under there. Ugh. So I moved it, and that was under there. How does this music sound so zany? It is zany. Oh, oh god, it's a Beyblade! I do want to get that, though. Wah, wah. Oh, maple syrup! More maple syrup! And also these. Alright, we're gonna have to find the Beyblade, and I'm kinda scared. I... you can tell that this is a game made with love, because, like, everything is super intentional. Mmm. Fuck. Alright, well... What, what do you... what can you do? Arcane damage while pulling enemies together. Okay, that could actually be really useful, because yeah. then you can line them up for, like, a sunball or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, the sunball hits everyone. No, it hits close together. It hits only close together. A random lock on the target, plus one lock if timed. That's really useful. Petricor, healing mist. You know what that word he means. He has an ultimate. Yeah, it's the smell of rain. Rain, like wet dirt after rain. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's just let's just see how he looks. Holy crap! And then, this is our get used to having our new friend around. Ow! He didn't even flinch. No. Oh, well, he is like the immortal alchemist yeah, or whatever. Right. He's Shakespeare, the immortal bard. Oh, so he does poison damage to you. Probably poison bludgeoning. It, well, it's like that purple marker, right? Uh, what do you mean? Like, the kind of damage he does? Uh, I don't know. You mean Rashan, right? Yeah. I didn't see poison on him. Like, if his thing showed, like, a pink orb? Oh, I thought I saw poison on there. And maybe one of his abilities has it? The way he walks, he looks so creepy. It's like Palpatine following you. Yeah. Here she comes. Oh, look at these little leaf guys. See, that's the damage type mm. I was saying. Grass assassin. See, his attack does poison, though. Oh. That's what I was talking about. Oh, when I did this, I was seeing this. Mm. I see. Let's see this. Get him. Okay. And now, we are gonna have to switch Garl out to have poison. 
Um, so excited by the toy, her she's just twitching and she's attacking it. <laughs> She's knocked it under my chair. She's playing. Okay. Now. Well, obviously, we need a little lunar girl. And. Yeah, I guess. This is like, they're like, get used to playing your new guy area. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I can grab one. You can one. just grab onto the trees, I guess. Can I go down? Yes. So I want the honey. Give me the honey, baby. Let me see the honeys. Wow, wow, wow. Might have to go back. There we go. That sound is so intense. Dunk. Okay. I see a sun thingy. You might have to blow the leaves off. Oh, you're right. Get out of here. You stinky leaves. Oh, you know what? There's still one on that one. It's like you might be able to pile, make a pile of them and have something happen. Oh, yeah. It's like a good call. Ooh. Arcane moons. Come on. Give me the... Oh, the... Big old pile. All right, never mind. It looked cool. Okay. I take me with you. Hi, guys. Is Muscle down there? Oh, no, she's over there. I see her. I just want to see... Arcane and Lunar damage to all targets. Nice! Alright, so we've got some really annoying people driving by on motorcycles right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is the double one on the guy in the back or the guy on the right? It's the guy in the back, right? I think it's right? the guy in the back. You could do the knife throw. Yes, that's what I was... Your favorite move. I actually like it. It's just hard to get the timing right on. You have to get it like just before she starts to come back down. There we go. Then come over to Rashan. The only issue is, like, I don't know... I wish he did arcane damage with his attacks. Yeah, well, he does if you if you do the thing. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um... I think he does. Well, you can't use him now anyway, so... But, like... Yes. Okay, now it added it on, I see. I got it and right, got and then hit both of it's them. Cool, that's cool. Yeah, I've never managed to get it right before. Yeah. Hello down there? Sir? Some people say this is a bad spot for a shot, but I bet others will follow in my tracks. We have no money. <laughs> we have no money! Well, we can sell our old stuff. Yeah, sell our old equipment. Holy crap. 
Okay, you have a lot of those. They're only worth one gold each, though, but... Yeah. Well, you know, what do we want? What, is there something we really want to buy from this guy? Peach Turbo. I guess the sheet music, because we don't know if we're going to be able to come back to get it. Yeah. I mean, just makes her attack and stuff better. But then, so we need... I like, like, we don't really use the berries for anything right now. I think we should just sell all of them. They're so easy to get, you know? They and make that's... the jam that gives you, like, is it five MP Yeah, but we something? have other stuff that does both now. I think you still need a little more. Oh, no, okay, one for, one. for some reason, I thought it was 150. So... This is the most expensive one. Sell that. So now we need, if we could get 70 more gold, like, do we have anything? I mean, we could sell 84 seafood. That's true, we do have a lot we of We just that. sell 70 of them. I wouldn't sell all of them, because you need them to make the, uh, the one thing that heals the whole party. Yeah, yeah, but we still have 14 left after that. There we go. Okay. Thank you, kind shopkeeper in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> I feel like I'm about to play Sonic. Come here. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. <clears throat> okay, so we start with a double on you. Now you're not going. Then... Oh, she has no mana left. Oh, yeah. I was gonna, you know, slow him down. Yeah. But, I guess we just... Break a little bit of it. Didn't get it right. Oh, they hit all three of us. <clears throat> okay, um... Honestly, you guys keep getting your mana back up. Yeah. A little early there. And now... I guess. You, you okay? Yeah. I was like, you did just get the combo that you can do Moon and Arcane at the same time. Oh wait, can I? Is that only one combo? It is. Yeah. Cool. And then okay, let's let's go. Let's see how big it can go. I don't know when you're supposed to hit the. Me either. See you in hell. See you in hell. <clears throat> 2,000 XP. Pretty good. Pretty good. I see. I got a platform my way over there. Hmm. Oops, oops. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted from you, Zale. you push that one. Oh, good, good. <clears throat> good eye. Okay. Down. There you go. Give me the chest. <clears throat> Maple car? <laughs> Losing my voice a little bit. What kind of item was it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, wait. A uh, maple cork. Oh, it's for him. Oh! Does he shoot? Oh, it's a bottle. It's a bottle. We gotta get this guy some, some stuff. Okay. 
Oh, wait. So then I move this. Oh, you have to move back, yeah. They're making us use our brains on a Friday afternoon. How dare oh, they? Dare they? Anything back here? This music? <clears throat> I think it's not over crazy, right? Like, it's got the right feel for, like, an adventure. But it is very intense for... It just is interesting, because I feel like the mood is that we're, like, going to this creepy castle, right? Yeah. But it's, like, the music is, like... Burr, 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 burr. But I think it's, like, you're, you know, you're experiencing the adventure. Like, you're in the world traveling. Yeah. Another rainbow conch for just us? not what I was expecting. Like, I, I kind of want like to see you play Sword of Mana, the Game Boy Advance game. Mm. It's also been a long time since I played it. I don't super remember it, but I remember loving it while I played it. You know, like, some Game Boy games are so frustrating that you just stop playing. Yeah. That one was hard, but in a fulfilling way. Boss fight. Oh, I thought they were going to jump it. He's just practicing. He's practicing his deadly cuts. Everyone's mod is okay. I'm surprised you haven't seen a rest point <clears throat> yet. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Ro Roshis Cross? Roshis Cross there? Rosh? Rosh Cross there? Alright, well, start here. Take that. I think he moved out of the way, so. Then. That. Yo, I just saw Gizmo fly by out of the corner of my like, eye. What, did you, what are you looking at? I she went by so fast. Holy crap. Now she's at the top of the tree. Alright, so we don't... Gizmo, what are you doing? Yeah? Are you having fun? Is it zoomy time? Alright, let's try and figure out Sorry. when the heck we do this. Probably when it goes in the middle. Yeah, got it. <laughs> um. There we go. Garl, give us a little nourishment on our new friend. <clears throat> Man, my voice like really did just go to hell. It doesn't hurt, but I can tell it's like. Sword. Mm. I, it's like slightly after it hits him. Like it's not when it connects. Yeah. You can kill him. Dang, um, look at all that stuff. Lots of food. Three grand XP. Ooh. Some underwater time. This is gonna take us over to the other side and then we'll come oh, back around. Probably. I like the they they changed the music. Yes, it sounds muffled. Yeah. A little sip of my pop. You guys don't mind treading water, right? Parfait! Getting a bunch of new recipes. Is there a reason I can come up here? No. Just, just to make you feel like you're moving. You're zooming. How'd somebody get this chest down? Yeah, how, who's down here hiding parfait recipes in the cave? Gollum. Hello. Gollum's parfaits. Go, oh, poor Gollum. He if, hasn't enjoyed a parfait in forever. If Gollum made you a parfait, would you eat it? Probably not. I mean, I wouldn't want to hurt his feelings, but you know that there's raw fish in there. You just know. <laughs> well, you eat raw fish anyways. I do, but not in a parfait. Like, raw fish with yogurt sounds about the least appealing thing I could think of. I mean, okay, though, but like, cream cheese. I was gonna the, say, like, it kind of seems like a cream, good going. You never, okay, you know what? Maybe I would eat it, because cream cheese in sushi, I don't, 
I don't dislike that. So maybe yeah. it would be good. I'd give him a chance. Okay, break that. Now, come over here. Bam, bam, bam. Try and get this right. I, I'm not sure what the timing is. I got it once. There you go. Get nourished, bro. Gail's looking a little low. Bro, are you, are you sure Brazil. you don't? Are you sure you don't need to be nourished? You're looking a little low on HP. Might as well, we got full MP. Yo, I can't wait to see what Rishan's ultimate is. I know, right? Probably won't get to see it until during a battle, but... So yeah, a big battle. Maybe it's the throw one? The second one? Maybe. I thought he was hitting Garl. They bamboozled me. Almost took him out. <clears throat> like, you know how he throws the second one? Yeah. Oh, he didn't do it that Maybe time. I have to do it twice. Maybe. Maybe I'm getting the first one and then he throws it and then yeah. I have to get the second one too for it to explode. Why? Well, also, can I climb that? Yeah, that does look like something, but I don't know what. See, we spent all those berries more and now berries. we got more. I guess it would make sense that there would be a lot of berries because they want to make sure you have at least some way to give yourself MP. Yeah. And also they just kind of literally grow everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that looks like does, a secret. This looks... More, you guys? Just battling our way through. Alright, well, um... Get in here, girl. No MP! Okay, so then... I don't know if this will work, right? If I get this right? For which one? If I get this removes the time. Oh! I don't know what the timing uh, yeah, looks I like at know. all. Yeah. But we're gonna try it. Holy crap. It did work. It did. And he's got, like, electricity. Yeah. On him now. Alright, Garl. Once again, nourish the bros. He's just the snack guy. Stop! Why are you all attacking the immortal alchemist? They're, like, not so immortal, huh? <laughs> I do. I wonder what happens if he drops to zero. Does he just get knocked out like everybody else? Or? Probably, because he said he would match his strength to ours. Okay, so let's try this again. Now, first one. It didn't explode. It didn't give you the star, did it? I, I, I don't know. But you did throw a second one. Yeah. I think I got the first one I'll timed right. I'll have to watch right, more carefully. But I don't think I got the second one timed right. These guys are tanky. They are tanky. No, you didn't get a star. You definitely did it once, though. Yeah, yeah. We might have to look that one up. We got. I think Solar Rain hits all enemies. I wanted to do the one that gave us MP back. Oh. Or. That only gives MP to you and Valeria. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's hit him with that dang old solar rain. Solar rain, solar rain. Nice. That was pretty sick. Well, before we wrap up the fight. Keep the boys nourished. Not quite. I don't know. I don't know how to make it explode. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're starting to look a little tired. Take that, nerd. Oh, hello. He was hiding. These guys are not very strong. They do do cool looking attacks though. I'm gonna do this. Cause they're all spread out. Yeah. I was wondering if the oh, well, early. alchemist tack that says it draws enemies together, would it pull him like across I, the... I think so. Like, I think or that's... is it only if they're on the same side of the battlefield, you know? Yeah, maybe. Alright, um... I don't think this is possible. Well... Please don't attack, Carl. He's on his everybody. feet! Give, give yourself some nourishment. Never forget to take care of yourself. That's right. Self-care. Bro, you're still alive? There, these guys are so tanky. I guess they are like little floating tanks of something. Yeah. The, like crabs, the other flesh manced uh, things. Secret. Hello. Is it secret? Is it safe? Up we go. There's the castle. There it is. I love when games do stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, Finally. we did it. Um. All right, parfait cures KO seventy five percent HP to add single ally. That requires berries, of course. It's all in the name. Okay, crispy with a bubbling smell, eighty HP and seven MP party. That was a really good one. Make two of those. Um, I guess we'll make one of these. And then we'll top it off with a hearty stew. Mm, stew. Stew. And then like an MP1 just for good measure. Just so we have something. Yeah. It's like we're probably coming up on something important. Now, I do... How do I... I want to set up camp and see if Keeks has anything to say. Oh, okay. It's been a while. It's nice to stretch my legs a bit. Must be hard thinking about the whole Erlina and Brugge situation. I'm here, okay? Blackboard Castle is on the east side of Mesa Island. We'll have to cross it on foot. Finally, I'm Mesa Island. Are you ready for the big confrontation? Hello. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. The Nomads of the Seas. We got two stories. It's Ronnie reading time. 
The two alchemists. Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Roshan and... How do we say that? I said a foral. A foral. Set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. Sick. As all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, Ephoro grew increasingly jealous of the ephemera ephemerality he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy. A journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate, as he experimented with the soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As fate would have it, Aferil? Yeah. Aferil finally embraced evil and emerged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing, plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Roshan tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. After much struggle, Roshan discovered the Flesh Midian's only weakness to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the Fleshmancer's creations. But Aforo's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential, known as Dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic, except during a total eclipse, when Solstice Warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And Dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. They remained vigilant, there would never be a world eater, but Rashan knew such a stalemate would only cause Aferil to despise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rashan boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Archivist. On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, Aferol rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that had just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of cat and mouse began, played by dwellers and solstice warriors on one level, and by Rashan and Aforal on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over in numerous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by Aforal, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until the world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater, or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors into guardian gods. As to when Rashan's plans on recomposing the timelines or whether he knows how remains to be seen. The end. It's a pretty sick story. Mm hmm. Alright, I'll read this one. I was just like taking a little sip break. <laughs> Unless you want to read it. Uh, you can read this one. It was like a dream. No one believed it at first, that their seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. Why them? And with the current oracle of tides being so young, who could confirm the long-awaited discovery? But in their heart of hearts, they knew, before them, appearing even more vividly than in their visions, stood the Tower of Ansudlo. And so it was that the nomads of the sea who had traversed abyssal plains since time immemorial would settle at long last. Having reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. In Dalkari village, generations would come and go, following the guidance of their respective oracle tides. Since that day, they have been the guardians of Ansudlo, waiting for those destined to open this gate. 
In this new era, memories of the nomadic days live on in classic tales, retellings of deeds of great explorers and formidable warriors. The most popular by far is the Battle of Fates Gyot, a story with so many versions it may very well be just a myth. God's Gyot. Gyot. <laughs> To the best of their abilities, historians have pieced together hints from various retellings of the battle, some even dedicating their lives to the subject. It is generally accepted as the fact that the Dokari almost went extinct while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. What happened next is a matter of much debate. Depending on the interpretation of key passage and the credibility of certain sources, some claim that the Battle of Fate Gyat never happened, <laughs> dismissing in the fabrication meant to scare it off would-be pillagers of ancient Dokari treasures. This theory is mostly seen as a stretch, however, given that such looters' inability to breathe underwater would already be deterrent enough. Some historians say that the giant sea slug was defeated, and the Dokari made their last stand on the flat-topped sea mountain giving the story its title. For others, the scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. According to this version of events, the nomads sealed the monster away when they realized they couldn't defeat it. The key was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes brave enough to rid the world of this threat. The end. Cool, we're gonna have to fight that thing. Did you rest? Oh, that's a good point. I should do that. And then this would be a perfect stopping point, and then next time we will go to the sick-ass castle. Yeah! It's actually like perfect timing. I like when we get to end with the lore. Mm. Good morning, everybody. And now we save. Well, okay, let's... let's... No, never mind, I can't. I was like, we have to find the thing first. Well, this was changing when you... But the thing is, we don't know where we need to change it to yet. Oh, there you go, you can click on it. Oh, I see. The Just had to passage. light it up all the way. Oh, they're going in! I want oh. to save! Okay, yeah, never mind, we won't stop here. Oh, no. It did not auto save. Well, I, I saved. You can't. Uh, uh, you can't see him on the screen because he's perfectly where our camera is. The little dude playing a flute. He's playing a flute. Raiden. When the moon shines bright on autumn sheaves. Comes forth the abomination of fruits and leaves. No! Oh no. You gotta fight the abomination? I guess. Oh wait. You gotta cover him up. There you go, have some leaves. Take that. He looks all nice and cozy. Alright, the abomination. These are some fun puzzles they have here. Yeah, them. yeah, like they're not hard, but they're clever. Oh, a little Halloween monster. Okay, well, I mean, why not do this to start with? Also, the music is going crazy. Zero damage. Yes. Leaf monster. Zero damage. Probably need to do sun or Okay. So now let's oh of course. Wait, what? Yeah, we, I don't know. We I thought you broke, broke it? it. Oh, maybe now that he doesn't have leaves on him? Oh. Yeah, now we can hurt him. Kay. What is he vulnerable to? That's a good question. I guess gonna, we'll find out. I'm gonna do this now because it's like her most powerful attack aside from her special. Mm -hmm. It's a good amount of damage. Ah, okay, now the leaves are back. So this is just like an excuse- well, let's see if this does anything right now. But this is like a time to heal and set up getting mana back. I guess, yeah. 
But we should set up what's his name special. Yeah, nothing. Could also use like Lunar Shield or something. That's for true. Now. I don't know if you have to do damage to him. I, I think he'll just throw leaves eventually. I think so too. Like, so do you want to let this happen? Because is that the throw leaves attack? Or? Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I can't really stop it. So. Yeah. Set this up. That way, when he does throw his stinky leaves at us, it won't be too bad. Never mind, he's doing pine cone now. Pain cone. Pain cone? Take that. Yeah, his, his wind up is so long. Mm. Maybe we do have to break this to, to get him Maybe. to throw the leaves. Yes, okay. Now yeah. he's eating the leaves. Now... I mean, this is gonna do both types of damage, so maybe it's Yeah, just... maybe. And it just keeps going as long as you keep hitting the... That's right. I actually think this is one of the coolest looking ones. Yeah. He's flashing! He's flashing! He's, he's weak! Get him! I'm gonna use another one because we're so close to having the combo. Yeah. He's flashing a lot! Oh, no. Ah! Okay. I don't want to do it yet. Yeah, don't waste it. Actually, oh, Zale, you can't go, so. I bet the next time uh, he gets his leaves gone, though. Yeah, yeah he'll probably die. Um, swap you out for a second. Keep this going. He's strobing. <laughs> he is going crazy over there. There we go, I got that done. Perfect. No, I can't use... Oh, man! We don't have the combo either. Yeah. Alright. Well, actually, I'm gonna swap you out. Oh, your mod is okay. Anyways. Pain cone time. No, he's doing it. Okay. So that just happens regardless, I guess? Yeah, but now I don't have Rashawn. Well, I do have... It's only one round. So sometimes... Now you can All right, let's check this out. This better look cool as hell. The Great Eagle. Oh! Is he the eagle? Holy crap! Bro! Hey, I thought he said he would never defeat the enemies for us. Well, he said he wouldn't go out of, like, if we weren't strong enough. Like, he only matched our power. Oh. Okay. Well, now I'll go All back right. and save. Well. That was pretty cool. That was a crazy combo. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, next time, to the castle. Yeah.